Hey y'all, a couple of people have asked to put a video on on how I uh, made this little homemade etching system which works awesome. I've also done, um, you know, the 9 volt battery, um, some alligator clips, and salt water, and a template I have. And that worked pretty good, but it wasn't, um, I, I kind of wanted something that went clear across, um, like the ones you can buy, obviously, for more money than I want to spend at this point, um, that you can go clear across your stencil or wherever you want to be, a bigger pad, so to speak. Um, so I'm going to attempt to just kind of show some brief video of what this thing does and how it works, and um, we'll go from there. So the first thing I want to show you is the power source, which is something we all have laying around the house. If you've got kids or you have items that in the past needed to be charged um, with an adapter. So this thing takes your 110 and reduces it down to a few volts uh, with very little amperage, which I kind of found um, some of the battery chargers gave me too much power and was burning a little too deep or at least I needed to be a little more knowledgeable on how to um, put it um, to use, how many times I put the pad to the metal, when to take it off and whatnot. So this is the power source. It plugs into obviously your wall or, or an extension cord. I took the end off of this um, cord. I've got them connected now, obviously red to positive, red to negative. The other thing I want to mention is that you need to find out which one of these is positive and which one is negative because it makes a difference when you go to put your pad on the metal. You put positive to the metal with a negative ground like we think we should, it doesn't do anything. For me it didn't. I put a positive on the metal, which this would represent the knife, and the negative to this piece of metal that I manufactured and put a pad on the end of it, um, then you start to see some action. Uh, and until then, I was a little disappointed or at least perplexed on what I was doing. So um, you get a, a multimeter, put it on 200, and attach black to one, red to the other. If you get a negative reading, you are you should switch them. When you get a positive reading of whatever uh, volts you're gonna get a reading on, you know that the red is on the positive. So then you can attach your whatever you can find. Alligator clips, I used an old battery charger. I just took these off and connected them. Quick like today, I'll, I'll manufacture something a little more permanent at another time. Um, my, the next video will show uh, this thing. I'm hoping this shows up okay. I have this scrap piece of metal that I've used uh, a couple times just to do some of the different various um, ways I wanted to get an etching and I'll see if I can't get some uh, action on here and show it um, as I move along here. You can kind of see it bubbling. I usually count like uh, to 10 and and then take it off and any texture you have on your pad mine has a little more than normal this is just something i had laying around the shop and i think someone on facebook said uh, they use some makeup pads and that uh, worked good so you do see some etching going on there's um, some discoloration and then uh, so i'll go back again The battery charger I had um, went really deep and I think it burned through portions of my stencil and actually etched the metal through my stencil and I was very disappointed in that. But I think this system uh, delivers just the right amount for me. I'll have to get used to it and kind of see how many applications or how many pad applications I'll have to use to get the, dip, the depth of etching I want. But this action that I see here is already um, an improvement over the 9 volt battery and um, an alligator clips and whatnot. So my next video I'll try and show um, what kind of depth I got out of this thing and I'll, and I'll detail how many times I put this thing on there. Okay, here is the piece of 1095 steel. You can kind of see how deep that was. Um, I did 
five or six applications counting to 10 fairly slowly and in between uh, one application uh, I cleaned all the surface off and tried to get a good look at it. Uh, it'd be a better test if I could try it with my stencils that I got from uh, Tusk Technologies which are awesome. And um, But hopefully this gives you guys good information and try it yourself and maybe come up with something a little bit better and thanks for watching.